We're going to tie up some spawn sacks for salmon fishing today. They make these pre-squared off little net things and this special string that's very, very easy to work with. There's two kinds of eggs here. These were from last year that have a dye in them. These were out of a fish from last night. See the color difference. These were froze last year. They still work good. This is good with the individual eggs. Show that. Show, can you show the screen again? Right the here. Little mesh. Little square piece. Hold, you did, hold on. Little square piece. I can't even see it. Yeah, it's really see-through. You only need one. They're thin. First you grab them, you think you have a bunch, but you just need one. So you take, uh, the right amount is important. If they're too big, the fish won't hit them. If they're too small, they're good for a rainbow. But for these king salmon, you want about that much in there. Is that like about the size of a... A nickel, or between a nickel and a quarter. Say a quarter. Say so you'd have the four corners up, pull them together, just kind of get the stuff down in the... And you kind of Turn twist your hands it, a little bit Twist them. You. It's about that size. Twist this, then you take the end of this thread. My twist came undone. Here. Wrap it around about five times. Then after that, take a little extra, do a little twist in the knot, put it around, pull it tight. Pull it like that. You're making a little loop and pulling it. Just pull it tight. What's nice about this string, when you're done, you just pull it, there's no cutting, and it seals it off. Then this extra netting stuff, you just take and cut it off. There's your little salmon sack. You can wrap them in tin foil if you have to buy these, or about four or five bucks a dozen. You get all these eggs, just make their own, they're real easy. See this one here is a little bit too big. You know, here's ones I've already made up. The stuff with the dye is really messy, obviously. This natural stuff's a little better, but uh, it works. Don't hesitate to tie your own up. Save you a lot of money. Okay. That was Barb Curie of Wisconsin Women Fish doing a little bit of a demonstration on tying your own spawn sacks.